Welcome, welcome. Zapier Central is not only a free generative AI tool that can answer your questions and create content for you like ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot, or Google Gemini, but it can also do work for you. You can connect to other tools and software to create automation workflows to skyrocket your productivity. So that saves you from going from tab to tab to perform all your actions in those separate apps. After you log in, we'll go to the top left corner here, rename your AI agent or assistant. If you develop more AI assistants, AI bots in Zapier, and you want to access this specific AI assistant in the future, go to this toolbar on the left and just click on this AI bot. We're going to ask it to help us create a content calendar for YouTube videos. And you can do the same for social media platforms or other content platforms. So we're going to ask it to browse the web for the latest Instagram trends for marketers. If you click on this drop down, it gives you the work that it's done and the sources from which it pulls its response. The great thing about this is it provides you with key information like the title of the content, links to the content which you can click on, and the date on which it was published. So you want to make sure to look through this response and ensure that this aligns with current trends. Next, we asked it to create a table for the content calendar for the next four weeks and it produced this nice looking table for us. Now we'll send this table to a content calendar in another tool. You can send it to a table in Zapier, a Google Sheets document, a Jira issue or story, or a Confluence page. We'll provide these instructions for the behavior and Zapier Central updates the name of the behavior for us. We'll click add a trigger select when I message the bot and our trigger phrase will be add content to Jira issue. Click add the trigger, click add action and we'll search for Jira, select Jira software cloud and search for issue and then select update issue. If you connect your Jira account, you can leave the rest of the fields as is and add action. And then click on test behavior. When you test the behavior, Zapier Central opens up a pane on the right side for a thread of responses. And if you close it, you can access the thread by going to the Zapier Central response and clicking this link for all the replies. You can scroll through all the responses. This is the content that we provided for Zapier Central to add to the description field in the issue. And it gives you a preview of what the table, what the content will look like. So if we take a look at the Jira issue itself, we see that the action has been completed and the description field has been updated with our table. This next example is one of my favorite features in Zapier Central. So we created a new bot We'll go to the top left corner here and rename this to e-commerce data assistant. We'll go down here, click on data sources, add a data source, choose Google Sheets or whatever data source you want to connect to. Make sure you're connected to the right Google account, then select your spreadsheet, your data source. Click add data source. This data set has thousands of rows of data that includes customer ID, location, transaction ID, transaction date, product data, quantity ordered, average price, delivery charge, and other fields. I asked the Zapier Central AI agent to order the months by sales in a descending order and include the sales amount and quantity sold with a summary line at the bottom. And here's what the AI agent, the assistant, responded with on this drop down and you can see the work that it's done so it gives you generated code and here's the actual response with a table that orders the months by sales in descending order along with the quantity sold and our summary line is at the bottom here I asked the Zapier AI agent 
which I use interchangeably with Assistant to create a table for the top 10 products sold by sales in descending order. And this is the table that it produced. I also asked it to order the top 10 product categories by sales in descending order and include the sales amount and quantity sold. And in this response, it generates a SQL query to select the fields with aggregation functions from our data source, grouping by category and ordering by sales amount. So here's the table that it produces and we can see all the product categories here with the sales amount in descending order. I requested a table from this Zapier AI assistant for the locations that generate the most revenue in descending order with the top product category sold. This is the table that it produced. As you can see, all the top product categories are the same. So I wanted to refine this request and I did that by clicking on this icon here to reply in the thread. I got it to produce a report that gave me more product categories for each location. Eventually, it produced a table for me for location, total sales, and top product categories for each location. After asking Zapier Central for that analysis, you can ask it, what are some recommendations to increase sales? And it'll give you some good recommendations. So we're talking about focusing on high sales locations, and then it talks about emerging markets. So make sure you double check what it gives you. Even use the code that it generates to test it yourself. Make sure everything checks out because you don't want to run campaigns or initiatives based on bad data or bad analysis for that matter. This is a good recommendation as well. Bundling products together, especially popular items, to increase average order value. The AI also picks out months where the sales peaks. So for example, if we look at our monthly data, we have April peaking, and then we have August peaking, as well as November and December compared to the previous months. This last section has great recommendations as well. Looking for customer engagement and customer feedback, talking to customers to obtain feedback as to why they prefer certain products and creating a loyalty program. Here's another suggestion I'll give you. I prompted Zapier Central to create a list of customers that spent less than $10,000 in December based on the customer ID field. And it returned this list with the customer ID as well as the amount they spent in that month. Now with this list, what you can do is create a behavior for HubSpot or whatever CRM you use to add these contacts to a CRM email marketing list so you can send them discounts and promotions. In HubSpot, I created a list with these filters for this amount for the month of December 2019. So we'll create a behavior to create a list of these customers based on the customer ID field and the spend in that month and then add these contacts to a HubSpot list. So of course you'll need to connect to a HubSpot account or a CRM account for which you can do this and create a trigger when we message the bot, the AI assistant, low spend customers, then it'll fire off this behavior. So you can allow Zapier Central to either select a value or a name for the list or you can guide it to select value from specific choices or set the value with the contact list that you created. Make sure you have the contact emails available so you can add those contacts to that list. Another way you can do this is create a behavior with similar instructions but edit the instructions to include fields that you want to add to a Google Sheet and set the trigger. You can say something like low spend customers in Google Sheets and it gives you these actions you can choose from. So we can choose create spreadsheet 
and then configure these settings here. And then upload that spreadsheet to your CRM. Let's create another assistant. In the top left corner, I renamed this to Collab Assistant. I'm going to go down here and click on Behaviors, Create a Behavior, give it instructions to summarize emails from Jira about a specific story here. We'll add a trigger, select this when I message the bot trigger, and the specific keyword or phrase we'll use is email Jira updates. Add the trigger, scroll down, add action, select Gmail or whatever email client you have. We'll use this search trigger to find emails, create a new connection. For the search string, we're going to use the set a specific value for this field and use from Jira policies and FAQs or the subject of the story that we're looking for. Click on add to action, test behavior, here are the emails that Zapier found and it provides a summary of the contents in those emails regarding the updates around the policy and the FAQs, that specific story. You can also narrow the filter to look for emails from yesterday, for example. With Zapier's AI assistant agent, you can create behavior automation for software releases as well as marketing releases, especially if you want to document what you've done. So you can use Confluence and GitHub. We would use a trigger for a new GitHub release and then choose the action for Confluence Cloud to create a page or a blog post. Connect your apps to that so you can enable the trigger and allow the action to execute. You can also connect it to a CRM like HubSpot or Salesforce, your marketing cloud, and you can do things like register offline conversions with Google Ads when new contacts are updated in HubSpot or send funnel events to Facebook conversions from HubSpot. There are tons of apps in the Zapier automation ecosystem. The beautiful thing about Zapier Central is you can connect to all of these and work within Zapier Central. I'm looking forward to Zapier continuing to develop and enhance Zapier Central because it already has all these apps in its automation ecosystem. So there's a lot you can do with data analysis and enhancing your productivity with Zapier. Imagine how much time this will save you. You can double, triple, even quadruple your productivity. So if you found this useful, please like, comment. And if you want content on creating more efficient workflows and boosting your productivity, subscribe to the channel.